Like, it's just, he's just really suffocating with all these hitboxes. And now, Watt already sitting at 150%, but the raw forward smash will go ahead and wipe out that first stock. Yeah, caught, caught Sharp being a little greedy, trying to go in on that approach. That step back forward smash, so potent for a lot of characters. We saw it in the last set. We're saw it in this set. I'm sure we'll see it in future sets down the line. He's, uh, you know, that neutral game. You want to go in sometimes. And sometimes better just to wait till you have an advantage situation like that with the up tilt coming out from Wolf taking that stock. And you know what else Wolf has? He got my man Snake. He got his up tilt. <laughs> he got Snake up tilt. And you, we, we saw Sharp abuse that just sitting on the platform, yeah. safely pressuring. And it, the, the move is so big and it kills. It's a very, very strong move. Oh, what oh, a wow. call out on the back air there. Tries to get the forward air, but not going to connect here for Watt. Unfortunate situation, Sharp able to recover because he saw Watt going about as far as he could possibly go with Roy. That's one Ooh. of the disadvantages. Ooh. That Nair was so close <laughs> hitting, and that is the edge guard you want to go for as Wolf against Roy. That drop zone Nair just covers so much area. Most Fire Emblem characters want to position themselves lower and come up with their recoveries, and of course, Watt almost going to get nailed by that, but going to stay on stage here. And it's critical time here. Oh, Ooh, wow. Good call right. out on the flash. And that's one of the it's like hard to it's easy to edge guard wolf on paper until you have to respect the wolf flash and that one he had it scattered out just threw an up tilt in that situation and covered There's the it. ledge trap oh and the forward tilt, yeah just dash back forward tilt is going to clean it up here for sharp i mean he did he got taken down in the last lock but only took about 12 percent really really solid game one coming out here for sharp we'll see if um I don't, i'm not sure if watt has any of the characters he can definitely make a lot of adjustments i feel like especially against wolf you have to be really careful how you get ledge trapped and stuff like that but honestly still really great recovery coming out from Watt. we didn't see him get gimped a single time so that was very very good oh we got another character on screen he's going Yo, the, the bird <laughs> Yo, we got the my bird. bread let's go i actually don't think this matchup is that bad obviously like wolf still wins in my opinion but falco combos wolf like pretty well um, definitely still gets outranged by Wolf and your blaster nowhere near as good as Wolf's blaster. Right. That's well, gonna be one of those situations. Is Watt gonna be able to Ooh. find his critical moments? Uh, so oh, far, he hasn't found swiped. anything. Don't get swiped, my man. You can't get swiped, especially starting off a of game one. Zero to death coming out from Sharp, and my man got double swiped. You, you know, you always want to make a strong statement if you're coming in from behind on game one, and that was about as terrible as it could go at the start. Did no damage, zero to death to open it. And, oh, he's getting him back almost. Oh, I thought he was going to be fearless and go for the double dunk. <laughs> yeah, he almost got that double dip. I am a big advocate of the double dipping. Oh, wait, there's the up tilt punish. And I feel like right now, Sharp is doing such a good job. Oh, dang, down smash. He almost got that down smash right there. <laughs> okay, but he gets the side B. And that, that's one thing you got to be really careful when you're playing any Spacey versus Wolf. That down smash is very strong against any of the side beats, the Illusion or the Phantasm. You got to be really, really careful. Yeah, because so much damage kills so early. And, you know, especially in those, like, those niche dis disadvantage situations where you're not sure if they're going to tech or not. It covers so much ground. Gets the up tilt. Snake making his cameo appearance here in Final Destination. And uh, Dang, is this going to be a three stock? It, My man's about to like get it. three stock? Not like this, man. But yeah, I really liked how uh, Sharp set up that situation. He got the cross-up dash attack, and he just buffered a turnaround up to why not just throwing that big meaty hitbox out. That is going to set up for the kill here. But can we get some offstage versus Wolf? The up tilt, no confirm, though. We are out of that range. The up tilt into the up air might have done it, but already out of range. Oh, and then the jab will get punished here. No. It was kind of like, uh, you know, yeah, Watt kind of dealing with that melee Mars syndrome of getting that this huge percent. Woo! What? Dang, oh. That almost killed. I'm actually surprised that. Oh, oh, oh. Sharp had to do it to him. He had to do it to him. My man got swipe, dunk, all of the above, and that's uh, that's Wolf, ladies and gentlemen. So Looking very need... clean coming out from Sharp. <laughs> right. If very you need a, if you need an example of what to do with Wolf, there's your video right now. And unfortunately for Wada, if you need an example of uh, things going wrong for Falco, that's where he goes back to the Great Fox. You know, that has no more health on the bar. He can't help you out anymore. We saw a lot of down smashes on the side Bs, like I was pointing out. And, of course, Wolf also having that down air for the edge guards. You don't usually see him go out there too much. Uh, 